Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. I'm going to show you how to configure accelerated event notification, which is a an in Omnibus 8.1. So why do we need AN? Omnibus can handle millions of events a day, with all events being treated with equal importance. Operators need a way to notify them high-priority events to ensure the system can continue to run without interruption. AEN provides pop-out notifications and fast-track propagation to make sure K system and events meet tightly controlled latency requirements. These are prerequisites. AEN client must be installed in order to receive accelerated event notifications. Omnibus desktop feature need to be installed to view the events in event list. Or WebGUI need to be configured and running to view the events in active event list, which is AL or event viewer. To make AEN working, these are the steps we must do. We must use channels to define the type of event data to broadcast in AEN and the recipients of this data. We need to create a post insert, post update, or post reinsert triggers to set up the condition and forward the events to AEN clients. Then we need to configure a in client on how notifications are displayed, the type of information displayed. Per our requirements, these steps are optional. We consider whether to use probe rules file to flag events for acceleration. In this example code, we use fast track column. If we have configured the probe rules file with a flag for AN, we need to add a column in object server to support the acceleration of events. We choose to use dedicated gateway to forward accelerated events, mainly for performance reasons or to send events to a particular object server. Now we are starting to configure AN. We start NCU underscore config, then log into object server AGG underscore P. Go to system menu, click channels, click add channel in the toolbar as shown in the screenshot. The channel details window opens. Give a unique name for the channel. We call it pop failure in this example. Click Add new channel column button to add columns to the channel. To add the columns, we select the columns, then move them from available list to selected list. These are what we've defined. We also need to define which resist in the channel, as shown in the screenshot. We send the notifications to those AEN clients that are logged in as user root, no matter which host they come from. In the example, we create a post insert database trigger called AEN to send a notification to the channel port failure. We send the notifications to port failure channel Use fast track command if summary field of the events match pop failure. Now we start AEN client use NCU underscore AEN command. Once we log in and connect it, we will see the icon with the green check. A yellow exclamation mark icon means not connected. A yellow chat box icon means we have messages. To configure a in client property, right click over the notifier panel, then click properties from the pop up menu. 
Here we configure to receive the notifications from object server agg underscore p and use nco underscore event to view and manage accelerated events. This screenshot is showing what columns are shown in the pop-up notifier and their position. Now we start SimNet probe. If new events with summary matching port failure are inserted into our server, we will receive the pop-out notification. If we click plus button on the notifier, event list will open with the accelerated events in it. In this tutorial, we just roughly explain how to configure AN and monitor AN events. If you want to know more details, please refer to Omnibus 8.1 Admin and User Guide or Omnibus Knowledge Center. Here are the links. And I also include Netco Support YouTube channel link here. Thank you and see you next time.